Hello, in this video we'll be going over the consolidation lab. In consolidation, we compress the soil by expelling water. We measure the deformation of the soil to see how much it settles at a set interval. Depending on the type of soil, whether it is a sand or clay specimen, the consolidation could be either very quick or very slow. In this lab, we'll be using data from a clay specimen, which can be found on the Google Sheets. Our time interval for each stage of consolidation will be one stage a day, and readings will be taken at very short intervals at the beginning of the consolidation stage, and at longer intervals as the stage progresses. We will add more load to the consolidation frame every 24 hours until we reach an applied load of 64,000 pounds per square foot, at most only doubling the stress. If too much stress is applied at once, the soil may not be strong enough and will fail or shear. After we reach our highest stress level, we will unload the frame at a slightly faster increment. When, when loading the consolidation frame, when loading the consolidation frame, we can create a consolidation curve with a slope of C sub S. When loading the consolidation frame, we can create a consolidation curve with a slope of C sub C the compression index and unloading will create a rebound curve with a slope of C sub S, the swell index. The settlement of soil during consolidation can be broken down into three parts. The initial compression when the load is applied, the primary consolidation where excess water pressure is expelled from the soil, and the secondary consolidation where the soil particles and themselves rearrange each other. In this lab, we will focus only on primary consolidation. Our highest target stress is 64,000 pounds per square foot, and with a 2.5 inch specimen, we would need an applied load of about 2,200 pounds. This amount is neither safe nor reasonable, so a consolidation frame has a loading arm that can multiply the load by either 9, 10, or 11, similar to the direct shear test. If we use a factor of 10, we would need 220 pounds, and a factor of 11 would need 200 pounds. In this experiment, the data in the Google Sheets uses a loading factor of 11. In this lab, we have weights bought from Humboldt Manufacturing for consolidation testing on 2.5 inch specimens. On the weights, it is written that they apply up to 2 tons per square foot. With some calculations, we can find that the weights will only apply the written stress if placed on the frame with a load factor of 10. We will use these weights to demonstrate machine deflection. In place of soil, we will be using a metal specimen, which we can assume will not deform. The highest applied load will be 2200 pounds, and it is possible that the metal can deform at such a high load, but we will assume for simplicity that in this experiment, the disc does not. Because we assume the calibration disc does not deform, any deformation read from the dial gauge after applying weights will be due to deformation from the other parts of the odometer, such as the loading frame, pour stones, filter paper, or discs. We will measure the deflection caused by adding weights to each stage of consolidation, as well as the dial gauge reading as weights are removed. In data interpretation, we will remove the machine deflection readings from the consolidation soil settlement data.